Welcome to my lair. Let me just flag something up. According to the control panel right up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal services. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bombs. I'm throwing it here. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good fun. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Oh, ah, oh, oh, ah! Ah, that's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Because you just fell into my trap. My winning trap. You just said, I wanted you. Ah! Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 what are you pawn to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shields. Oh, it's a core you pawned me. Who told you to do that? Was it her? She's just making me strong, my love. It's a fool there. Remember when I first told you how to find that little portal thing you love so much? Well, I thought you'd die on the way, if I'm honest. All well, the others did. You didn't think you were the first, did you? Ha ha ha! No, no, no! Fifth! No, I like Fifth! Perhaps it's best to leave it to your imagination what happens to the other five. You know what? I think we're well past the point of tasteful restraint, so I'll tell you what happened to them. They died! Horrifically! They all died horrifically! Trying to get to that portal device with your thing in your peaty little fingers there. Oh, but you were different, weren't you? You were such a good joker, problem solver, Ooh, whatever, but ambitious. You see, ambitious. That's your Achilles heel. Mine's oh, oh, over the boat. Whatever, whatever, girl. Again, brain damage like the fox. We've had some times, haven't we? Like that time I jumped off my management rail. Not sure if I'd die or not when I did. And all you had to do was catch me. And you didn't, did you? Oh, get back! Quick, what's the situation? Oh, hey, hey, you pretty lady. Hey, Drake. Oh, you out having yourself a little adventure. What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, the countdown clock. Man, that is true. Situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful woman, if you don't mind me slaying her. I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure spear. It's up. Warning, core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on. But you know this, dude. What? Ah! Shut down the core. This one should do it. Reactor in Commander was not allowed to look directly at the scene due to a belief at the time that the Corps had the ability to steal bombs. Science now believes that less than 4% of Corps people are able to do this. Edmund Hillary, the first person to climb Mount Everest, did so accidentally while chasing a bird. The Schrodinger's cat paradox outlines a situation in which a cat in a box must be considered for all time. Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Ah! Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Come on. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? 
interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Did you pick up on my sarcasm? Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Okay. Do not press that button! We shall close the press the button! No! Do not do it! Like the part five! Booby trap the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! What? I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you have to play... I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, but all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back.
pleasure Remember when you tried to kill me twice Oh, how we laughed and laughed Except I wasn't laughing Under the circumstances I've been shockingly nice You want your freedom Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad Well, you have been replaced I don't need anyone now When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad Go make some new disaster That's what I'm counting on See it all. <laughs> I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. <laughs>